I've got a really awesome pickup video for you today. Most of the stuff that I have to show you is Nintendo 64 stuff. Um, and I got all of that, all the Nintendo 64 stuff came from Craigslist. I did th uh, three deals. And then I have one thing from Target. And then a big stack of games from the pawn shop. So, first up, I guess I'll show you the thing from Target. Um, so that's just one thing here, and it was free. Oops. There's a bunch of N64 games in it, but it was free. And it is this here. And this is just like a little, um, a little cardboard, um, case that would, that holds the, the Mario Kart, um, like mini figs. Um, they're for the Kinects. They're, you know, the little Mario figures that, go with the Mario Connect set, so you can buy them individually. I have one um, over there, but I'd like to get the rest of them, and I think this would be really cool to put them all in. Um, I'd like to get at least one of each, but unfortunately, um, tar this was the last one of these Target's getting. They now have ones, it's like the new series almost, like, it has a new box, and th all the packages are mystery packages. Unlike the one I have, it shows you the character on the front. All the ones they're going to be getting from now on are mystery. So, um, next time I go to Toys R Us, I'm going to try and hopefully get some more of these. I'd like to get a full set. And I don't want to have to resort to eBay, but I thought that was pretty cool. And that was free, like I said. <clears throat> um, since most of this stuff is Nintendo 64, I'm going to go ahead and show you one of the Nintendo 64 um, Craigslist deals I did and then show you the pawn shop stuff to kind of split it up. But, um, for, uh, for 30 bucks total, I got four games from this guy. First up is Revolt. And I have the box and manual coming for this, so I needed the cartridge. Um, so got one of those. There's a sticker on there, but I should be able to get that off, hopefully. Um, or just replace the cartridge when I find a better one. And then I also got a copy of Goldeneye. And these, um, if you saw like one of my last videos, I take all of the Goldeneyes I get to the game store by me because they give, they give me twelve fifty for a cartridge of this, and usually I sell it for ten bucks. So um, I've already taken three of them there. So you know, got another one to take in there. And then these last two are pretty beat up, but I got Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. As you can see, the label's pretty faded. There's some um, some sticker residue here and also on the top uh, and over here. There's a big one. But, um, you know, it's still still worth a little bit. And then this one is really beat up, and that is Super Smash Brothers. As you can see, most of the, um, the label there is ripped off, and there's some damage on the back, and it's really faded and everything. But... You know, it's still Super Smash Brothers. I should still be able to get at least 20 bucks out of it, which is very awesome. Um, next up, uh, I guess I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you guys the uh, pawn shop stuff, and this is stuff is really good. And usually, um, I go there pretty often. So when I go, usually I don't find like a big amount of stuff. If they put new stuff out, I might find a game or two. But I hadn't been in about a week and I went and I found a bunch of games that were out on the floor plus I also asked to see the games in the back and I found a bunch more in there so um, I will start off by showing you the PS2 games because they are the least exciting um, four of them are pretty terrible the first one here is I already I think I already have this game but it's actually sealed and that's why I picked it up and that is ultimate board game collection and that's sealed, like I said. Um, it will be all these games, all the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube games were two bucks each. So two bucks for a sealed PS2 game, always a good deal. Uh, these last four um, PS2 games are kind of they're really filler titles, and they're not very cool at all. But they were games I needed. So first up is Disney Sing It, Pop Hits, Dancing with the Stars. Sing Star Country and Sing Star 80s. And if you guys don't know, um, if you have like a complete a complete set of all the Sing Star games and you have a couple microphones, 
you can sell them for like 150 bucks on eBay. And you know, you might have to wait out for it, but I have seen people get that for the full collection in the past. Okay, um, next up, I'm gonna show you the Xbox games. Uh, this first one is, let me see, I moved my Xbox games. Um, I have this one, but this this copy here came with a slip cover, which mine doesn't have, and I've never seen this slip cover before. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I will be, yeah, I'll be keeping the slip cover. Uh, that is Halo 2 Limited Collector's Edition, and there's a slip cover there, and I know it's the right slip cover because it, you know, it has some information about the game on the back, so it is the the right one. So that's pretty cool. Next, I got a copy of Halo. Uh, this is the Game of the Year edition, and um, I already have this one as well, but two bucks each is always a good deal for those. They're super easy to sell. Next up is I Ninja, Just a filler title I needed. These are all complete, by the way. Then next up is Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. I didn't have this one, so I'm really happy to get it. And like I said, they're all complete. All $2.00. And this last one, um, of course I already have, uh, I actually have like three copies of this now that I have to sell, but this is the only one that has the case, but that is the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition, and this sells for like 20 to 25 bucks. It's missing the map, unfortunately, um, the one that I have in my collection is missing the map as well. Um, I have the Game of the Year and the Normal Edition, they're both missing the maps, and whenever I find this game, it's either disc only or it's missing the map, so I still need a couple maps to complete mine, but very happy to pick this up for two bucks. That's a great deal. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to show you the GameCube games. Uh, there's five of them here. Well, six of them, but um, these were also great pickups. Um, first up, a couple that I just needed for my collection. Once again, they're two bucks each, and these ones, um, at least the ones that I'm keeping, um, are all complete. First is uh, Def Jam Fight for New York. Um, just a filler title, basically. Next up is 007 Everything or Nothing. Another filler title, but I didn't have it. And then these other three I do already have. Um, first up is Pikmin. And this game has been going up in value, but what was funny about this is that I got this home, I opened it up, and there's actually two copies of it in here, which is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, there was one of them wasn't Pikmin 2, which would have been cool. Uh, the manual has some really bad water damage. Um, there's they're kind of uh, attached, but like I said, I already have this game, so these two copies will be going on eBay. Uh, next up is Super Mario Sunshine, a player's choice copy. Uh, that one is complete. And the last one I was really happy to see is Ikaruga. And I already have this game as well, uh, but this one is complete, and this will be going on eBay. And two bucks for that is a great deal. I was super happy to, to see that. Uh, that was in the stack of games he brought up from the back, including all the rest of the GameCube games and all those Xbox games. Um, and the PS2 games, actually. The only ones that I got off the floor were Wii games, and I have a big stack of them here. And I got an amazing deal on these. Um... First up, I have this stack here. One of them is in a, a DVD case, but it is a Wii game. I got this whole stack for 20 bucks. It was marked at like 32, so I was really happy that he said they could take um, 20 bucks. So first up, we have two copies of Wii Play. They were marked at 2.99 each, which I mean, this isn't a, isn't an expensive game or anything, but for three bucks for a complete Wii game, I think that's a pretty good deal. So I was gonna pay that anyway. But, you know, then I started finding more games, and I thought maybe I can just bundle them together, get them at a great deal. So, 20 bucks for all these games is pretty good. Some of these I'm keeping. I don't know which ones I have and don't have yet, but um, some of them I'm keeping. Some of them will just be put in a bundle on eBay. Next up is Castlevania Judgment. It was marked at 5, but got it in the bundle. Guitar Hero World Tour. Another one that was marked at $2.99. Uh, Rayman Raving Rabbids, also marked at $2.99. Uh, Naruto Clash of Clash of Ninja Revolution, this one was marked at $4.99. Uh, 
And the last one is GoldenEye 007. That was marked at $7. But I got all those games there, this whole stack, for $20, which is very awesome. Now, the last five games that I got were a little more expensive, but I still got a good deal on them. And I have five games here, but there's only two different ones. So first up, I got two complete copies of Wii Sports Resort. They were marked at 15 each. I got them for 10 each, which is a great deal. The last one I had was like a month or so ago. I sold on eBay for like $28. So two of those for 20 bucks, 10 bucks each, great deal. Then the other three are all the same. They were marked at 20 bucks each. I got them for 15 each, which is a pretty good deal. And that is Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Three copies. And this game still sells for like 25 bucks. So very awesome. And I'll be able to make a decent amount of money off of those Wii games. That's very cool. Also the GameCube and Xbox games and the N64 games. <laughs> so, the, I have two Craigslist bundles to show you that I got now, and they're both N64, which is kind of weird because in the past uh, couple weeks I've done tons of Craigslist deals, but they've been for all different kinds of stuff, and it just so happened that um, the three that I had done today and yesterday were all Nintendo 64 stuff, but I'm definitely not complaining because I got great deals on everything. So. First up, I'll show you this one. Um, I did this one yesterday. I got a Nintendo 64 system. Just has a regular jumper pack in there. That came with both cables. They're all kind of tangled right now. Came with a gray controller. Joystick's a little bit loose. A red controller. Joystick's a little bit loose again. And there's some writing on the top. And then it also came with the blue controller. The joystick is a little bit loose, but this is the best controller out of the three. Then it also came with two performance brand memory cards. And I will be keeping these. Um, I usually just try and keep first party stuff, but um, for these, you know, I don't really care that much. Um, then also came with two rumble packs. One of them's a, um, a Naki brand. I'm not sure. I've never seen one of these ones before, but um, the Nintendo one, unfortunately, has some corrosion in there. So I'm going to have to probably toss this one. Um, yeah, but the other one... Let me, let me open the other one up, actually. This one takes three batteries. Focus. Takes three batteries, that's crazy. Try and pop these out really quick. Make sure there's no corrosion in here. Might as well do it now that I'm thinking about it. And it looks good. And then, also, there was a Game Shark. And this is version 3.2. And before we get to the games, one more thing that came with it was one of these Nintendo 64 uh, game holders, which is very cool. I've had these in the past, but I didn't have any, like, I don't have any now, but now I have this one, which I will be keeping. I'm not going to store games in it, but it's just a cool piece to have, and they're worth a little bit of money. And then I got this big stack of games here that came with it, and I think it was this stack, actually. <clears throat> So there's a bunch of games here. I'm not sure how many, but um, let me see. I want to do. I want to save the best for last, like I always do. Um, okay. First up is NFL Blitz 2000. Then we have NBA Courtside 2 featuring Kobe Bryant. WrestleMania 2000. NBA Hang Time. The only like real sports game that I ever liked as a kid. I'm uh, not including like Mario, tennis and all that stuff. Um, Cruising USA. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I skipped this one. Uh, Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. 
Pokemon Stadium. Mischief Makers. Great game. <clears throat> and then... Now we get into the really good stuff. And not to say those games are bad. I love Mischief Makers. I love Tony Hawk and all those. But these are the more expensive stuff. So, first up. Diddy Kong Racing. Another copy of GoldenEye. Mario Tennis. Yoshi's Story. Banjo-Kazooie. Super Mario 64. Mario Kart 64. Super Smash Brothers. And Mario Party 2. And I got the whole bundle for, I want to say it was 100 bucks, which is a great deal. I think it was 100 I can't remember off the top of my head. It, I'm, I think, I really think it was 100 but anyway, that was a great deal. Um, awesome stuff there. I should be able to make quite a bit off those games, which always helps. And then I have one more deal, which I did today, which... Originally, it was already going to be a good deal, but then when I did it, I realized it was even better than I thought. So, first up, uh, another N64. Something happened to the camera. Um, hope this is still recording. Um, got another N64. Uh, just in the regular jumper pack again. Comes with both the cords that are wrapped around there. This one came with uh, four controllers, but unfortunately one of them's third party, and that's this black one here. And it the cord was like melted around the controller, like I had to peel it off, and it like let me see if I can get it to focus on the back here, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is where the cord was wrapped around. That's pretty crazy. Um, but this one's just going to go in the garbage anyway. Um, it's super dusty. It's third party. The cord is messed up. The controller is melted. It's, it's really garbage. Um, then it came with a gray controller. Joystick's pretty good on that one. Then it came with a green controller. The joystick's really good on that one. And then she said it came with an atomic purple controller. So, you know, I was expecting an atomic purple controller. But it was actually a grape controller. And with a really good joystick, which is very awesome. And I'm going to be keeping this one for now. And then it came with a big stack of games. And <clears throat> some pretty good stuff in here too. But I want to save the best for last, like always. Um, no sports games in here, really. Um, okay, so first up, I guess I'll show you this one first. Uh, San Francisco Rush. Another Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Command and Conquer. I actually don't know how much this game goes for. Um, I know it's not a rare game, but it, it's probably more than this one. Uh, Wave Race 64. And now we get into the, you know, the more expensive games once again. Uh, there's some really good stuff in here. Like, like the last two bundles I got. Sorry about that, the camera died and I had to um, reset it. Um, so I'm going to go back here just a little bit. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Banjo-Kazooie. My third copy of GoldenEye. So that's very awesome. I can, you know, take those three golden eyes to the game store. Super Mario 64. Mario Kart 64. Pokemon Stadium 2. And the last one is another copy of Super Smash Brothers. So my third copy of that as well. 
and the game store by me pays very well for a lot of their stuff, so I'm probably going to be taking a lot of these games there, actually. Um, you know, they tend to sell the games um, for, like, more than, you know, more than um, eBay prices, so they're actually able to pay more than a lot of the other stores around here and stuff like that, which is very awesome. And they're very fair on, um, like, boxes and manuals that they have that are just empty boxes that they can, like, sell to me or trade for this kind of stuff. So, um, I'm going to be taking a lot of that stuff there. And I might do some filming when I go. I don't know exactly when I'm going, but I'll try and do some filming because I think, um, I mean, I haven't put up the video yet. At, at the time of filming this, the video that I have of with the footage of the store hasn't been put up yet, so I don't know how you guys are going to like it, but I'm sure you guys will enjoy it, so I'm going to try and take some more. So, that's it for this pickup video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.